So look at how much space is on that grill. There are 15 hamburgers right there and six bratwurst. Uh, we're just now pulling this 36 inch griddle out of the box. The legs just simply pull up so that you can uh, assemble the wheels on it. The wheels are right here. They come in a separate box, but this other side here already has the wheels on it. You've already got the hose that's attached and you can see on the inside here, they already have all the burners attached in there as well. Looking at the front side, all we're gonna have to do is slip the knobs on there and, uh, and we're just about ready to go. We're gonna see how long it takes to put this together and then uh, we're gonna come back and show you how to season the griddle and then uh, we've got a party tonight and we're gonna be putting, uh, putting a bunch of meat on here. Okay, so the assembly process was super simple. You put the wheels on to begin with and then you're gonna put this tray on and it's just two of the thumb screws, super easy. This goes on next. It also has two thumb screws and you're gonna put a shelf on each side, two thumb screws over there and then you're going to put this handle on over here. You're going to put four screws on there. Make sure you do that before you put the, the griddle on. And the griddle is just going to set just like that into those little pinholes. Don't screw in or anything. They just set in there. And this is a really heavy griddle top, so it might take two people. You've also got your drip pan in the back, which just rests there. And they do give you a free liner, so that's a big bonus right there. And then for the igniter, you will need to install one AA battery in there. It is not included. And now we are ready uh, to put our 20 pound propane tank on. And you do have to put those two brackets okay, on Okay, so there. we have done one seasoning here. It's kind of hard to see that smoking. But what you want to do is you want to put that griddle seasoning on there, a really thin layer, and then let that burn off and smoke off. Once the smoke quits, you can put your uh, second seasoning on there. And again, this is just one seasoning that I've done, and you can see it's starting to brown already. Okay, so all I'm doing here, uh, this is my second coat. I'm just taking a big scoop out of there and throwing it on the griddle. And you can see it, it just instantly starts smoking. This is melting down, and it's kind of going downhill. So we're just letting it run downhill like that. So what I do next here is I take my uh, paper towels, and I just start spreading this all over the grill, all over the griddle. Surely you can see that smoke in there. I know it's been hard to see with the uh, the wind and everything, but this is this is how you season it. You get it uh, you get it cooking on there, and what you want to do is burn that oil off. Burn the oil off, and then do it a third time. There we go. She is seasoned, ready for some burgers, brats, and dogs. And uh, there's still plenty of room for more burgers, more brats, and hot dogs. And we just got uh, a ton of space here on this 36 inch. If you're looking for a super nice griddle to cook for the family, this 36 inch incher here from Blackstone is definitely the way to go. There she is, all cleaned up, ready to go for next time. Looks like new. Pretty happy with that.